website free of charge, including domain name and web SEO without paying a dime. And before proceeding to that, I will really want you to understand this page first for the sake of those that may just be saying this for the first time. For you to have a website, you will need a web hosting service. A web, web hosting service is a type of internet hosting service that allows individuals and organizations to make their website accessible on the web. You can see this, are, this is a website. For every website that will be hosted, there is that hosting plan, that hosting services. That organization or individual that allows you to host your site online. Web hosting is more like a land where a house is being built upon. So your website is your house, then the land is like the host. So you are being hosted on the web. So that is the basics of web hosting. Then domain name is your identification. It is like the address to your house. So it is when someone clicks on your address that they will get to your site. Imagine if this is our address, allfound.com. You can see it will take us directly to this very website, allfound.com. So that is one thing about, I think it's still loading. So this allfound.com shows and tells you that that is the web address that is a domain name so a domain name is an education string that defines a realm of administrative autonomy forget this grammar the main thing is just address address to your website that is just the basics so understand that i think my network is shaking it's not loading so you can see this very website this is a domain name and on clicking typing this domain name it takes us to this website so that is how it is with every other website that is being hosted online for you to have a website hosted online you must purchase a domain plan and this domain plan are being given by companies that are into such and in this very video we getting how to create our own domain our own domain name and hosting for free you can see this is the site you can see it's loading this is the web address address to this site and it takes us directly to the landing page and we have other pages on this particular site so that is it so now we'll be creating our free website and to get that done we need to get the hosting plan so I want you to log into this site free sorry pro free host profreehost.com once you log in this is where you are coming directly to so the first thing you need to do is to register an account with them you can see this is for life we never ask you to pay for using our hosting services getting a stable website it is free so now you click to register you type your email and you include your password so that is the first thing you need to do you need to do this puzzle you can see this is bridge i'll click on bridges verify my puzzle and see it's loading good so this is the client area we need to activate our site via email so let me go to my email to activate this very plan gmail.com I go to gmail.com Okay, so this is the email sent to my inbox. I will click to activate. You can 
see the site my site has been successfully activated so this is what we are going to do you click on this create new account close this create new account so what are we going to be creating we are going to be creating a website for shop me shop me wow this is not available shop m oh, this is not available that is taking SME dot under you don't like that. And this is my store, my shop, my shop. Ah, that been taken. Uh, shop me. And this shop me. Easy shopping. Easy shop. Wow. I'm taking this shop M. Yes, it's shop M. So you can see this uh, subdomain because it is free. You're having access to this UNAUX attached to it. This is the second one you can make use of any of the above. If you want to get a paid one, this is where you make use of this custom domain. You have to pay to have your site as .com instead of using these directories. But for the sake of this class, we want to create a website free without paying. That is the essence of why we are using this. So once you are done, you click on this mark button. So click on mark button you can see this is the first step it's being created so you allow it to load so the next thing you will do is locate this you can see this is our shop m for you and a us dot com remember what i told us about this because it's a free plan so we are using their domain as our sub domain so now you click on this manage Click on manage to take you to this page. So this page is more like the, the client area. So what we'll be using our concern here for now is this control panel. So you click on control panel. Once you click on control panel, you see that it will redirect you to the control panel. Give it time as it redirects. Once it's done redirecting, okay, you take note of this important notice to notify you of changes to service accounts and changes offers and other important service emails. We need permission to send the email. Please click I approve below. So you click on I approve. So you wait while the control panel loads. So this is the control panel loading. Okay, this is the control panel. So what we'll be doing in this control panel will locate where there is software. You go down to where you see software. Then on that software, you locate Softaculous Apps Installer. Take notes under software Softaculous Apps Installer. Click on it. Once you click, you give it time to load. You can see this is the Softaculous App Installer, and our concern here is WordPress. We are going to make use of this WordPress. WordPress is a state of the art publishing platform to focus on. Forget about that language. Just click on install. You can see this is it. This is don't touch anything here. 
this is my blog i can decide to change this name now or i'll do that later let me change it to shop me shop me then i'll change my description to easy shopping easy shopping so once you're done with that you come down to this admin username you can type anything you want as a username then you put your password make it so secret that nobody is having a sex to so let me type my password shop me okay that is it so try to make combination of alphabets and numbers to get the best out of it so once you are done you just go down to where there is install don't touch any other thing just go down to where there is install and click install once you click install you give it time to load Just give it time to load. It won't take much of your time. Just three to four minutes, and to be done loading. Okay, you can see our sites have been successfully installed. Congratulations! The software was installed successfully. Then take note of this: WordPress has been successfully installed. At you can see this is the directory. Then this is administrative panel. So this first one takes you to the front end of the web website. You can see this is the website. And you can see there's nothing on the website. This is the front end where your your customers will be viewing. Then this second one is called the administrative link or the administrative URL. This is this takes you to the back end of the software. So I remember the password we had, the, the password we had created, the username and password, that is where you'll be taking access to. So anytime you want to visit your website, first thing first, know your URL. So this one is for this site. Let me look at this very site. This is for the front end. This is where my viewers will be seen once they want to locate this site. For this very one, let's give it time to load. Okay, this very one is like you type that same website, then you add your slash WP, that is WordPress. You get admin. Take note of this very well. WordPress, sorry. The user uh, the, the the domain name slash wp stroke not slope slash admin dash admin rather this other one is stroke then admin this will take you to the back end login the admin login you can see this is the front end of this very site this is where visitors will be viewing after once they use this uh URL this domain name but look at this very one this takes you to where only an admin can have access to. so if you are not an admin you can't have access to this one so that is the same thing with with this very site that we've created so let's now visit our site let's go to let's paste the domain you can see slash wp admin then let's go you can see this is it this is the back end side this will be editing the front end remember this is the front end this is the front end of our website you can see the difference between this and this this is where your visitors will be seen and this is where you'll be working from and they'll be seeing whatever you do any adjustment you do from this very end 